Hey YouTube, what's going on? Matt Kennedy here. Happy October 22nd. Happy Friday. Hope you guys enjoyed the Browns game last night. What a win it was for the Browns fans. Uh, we go 4-3. and three. We own the tiebreaker over the Broncos for the wild card spot. And I think now we are the 8 seed or the 7 seed, whatever. Um, still a really good job by the Browns, even having the backups in um, for the offense. The defense, the starters did play. And I think 14 points or less is really good for a defense, especially for the Broncos having pretty much their starting offense. Um, so we got Lawrence Taylor for 408. And you go over to Randy Moss now, and I, you know, I wish I had the coins for it. Um, the thing about Randy Moss is, is that you have to power him up because he's a Viking chem, like, in nature. And if you want to, you know, power him up and get that Niners chem or, you know, Raiders chem, I think Raiders, right? That's insane, dude. Play for the Raiders, too. It's fucking insane, dude. That Raiders team team is the best, 100%. But I'm still doing Niners chem for uh, my boy Vernon Davis. But we got Lawrence Taylor right now, right? And the first step is to obviously quick sell um, my ROLB here. Um... Derek Thomas, it's kind of sad, but he has to go. That training will go towards Lawrence Taylor. I'm going to need a lot of training. And, you know, again, Lawrence Taylor, 408. I'm not going to complain one bit. That's a really good price. I thought he'd be way more. Um, we got him, Vernon Davis. Those are two huge upgrades for my team. Uh, him against George Kittle, I think it's, what, plus four speed? should be 88 87 so 87 to 92 speed at plus five speed upgrade that is huge for a tight end upgrade plus five speed um yeah it cost me like 370k uh yesterday but you know what it was worth it um the only thing i might be able to do here is so first of all let's put uh i'm, I'm gonna try to power up lt here um now <sighs> Should I power up LT? I mean, that's a big question because, to be honest, he, he, he's good as it is. I might not power up LT. Just because he's that good, I don't think the plus ones matter that much. I mean, you power him up, he gets 90 strength. I mean, he already has 90 block shed. He already has 90 block shed and, and then, you know, 90 pass rush. 89 speed is still phenomenal uh, with those stats. So, I'm, you know, great, great Excel, too. I'm going to actually not power him up for right now um, just because he's that good. Um, and he's going to obviously swap out. Uh, let me see who's better for a pass rusher, Kevin Green or Montez Sweat here. Um, let me see. High block shed. I'm thinking that. Kevin Green is going to get benched here, but let me see. Montez Sweat, what are his stats? No, actually, Sweat's going to get benched. So we're going to go ahead and switch the edge threats out now for these guys. So now we're going to go ahead and have um, Kevin Green and Lawrence Taylor be our pass rush DNs. Um, Let's hope he gets edge threat. Jeez. I was going to say, does he not get edge threat? So, Lawrence, Taylor with edge threat. I mean, this guy's going to be a glitch. 89 speed. I think he has, what, nine, is it 90 XL or what? 90 XL? 91 XL is still what we had with uh, him. So, pretty much a plus one speed and then way better stats. Better block shit, better shit. Um, this guy's a glitch, dude. I mean, 100%. Um, so, Lawrence Taylor, there he is. Um, you know, him and Kevin Green now coming at you. And then, obviously, you go, we got to switch this out real quick here. Uh, Devin Hasser has to be our kick returner here. But, you know, I mean, you know, in general, first of all, he, uh, he needs an upgrade, too. Um, so, now we're going to go ahead and make our rush right in, obviously. Um, Lawrence Taylor. It's really a no-brainer. Um, 
So now our rush ends are really good. Um, Harris and Joseph are still good. And, you know, getting Lawrence Taylor is just a huge upgrade. Yeah, I'm going to power him up, but just not right now because I want to get my boy Randy Moss. And the thing with Randy Moss is, you know, obviously we got to get that Niners cam on him. And we're going to do whatever it takes to power him up. So um, it's going to be tough, but we got to figure out a way to get it done. So, let, you know, let's see what LaMarcus Joyner is going for because that's really going to tell the truth here. First of all, I can power him down, too, so I'll get some training back, hopefully. Um, so let's see here. We're not going to get that much training, but hopefully it's enough to power up Moss, at least close. Okay, so here we go. How much is Joyner going for? Let's hope he's going for over 100K still. All right, that's kind of what I expected, but... It's better than 100k flat. So now we go ahead and sell him here. We might have just enough and we'll be bankrupt here, guys. So let's try to sell him for like 130. Hopefully he'll sell eventually here. So hopefully he'll sell eventually. We'll clear 117 flat. Let's hope. All right, let's hope he sells eventually. Um, and then the power up as well. Which, I mean, I'm just going to keep at that point. Um, let's see. Alright. You just got to hope he sells eventually, honestly. I mean, I, I really have no choice. Um, the one thing I will say is, is that once he sells and we clear 117, we're going to be over 450, right? Randy Moss's power up is 40k. Um, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be really tough. Um, but I just know for sure we're gonna get Moss. Hopefully, ah, 430, dude. It's gonna be tough, but we're gonna find a way to get it done. Stay tuned for the updated video if I get Moss or not. Bye.